Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2022, as we continue our worst to first run here with Williams, and uh, had a ridiculously good race last episode. Um, we we had a car crash, and that was the best thing could ever have happened to us, because our other car got into the points. So, there you go, guys. Moral of the story is, uh, always finish a race with only one car that's the best way to do that. that's obviously not true at all but uh, it was it was pretty funny uh but we did race well um it could have been anybody that crashed to be fair anybody could have crashed and we could have pulled the same stunt off uh it just happened it was our car it's unfortunate but uh if anybody else had crashed i think we could have done the same thing so something to consider um anyway uh we got a suspension manufactured we do now have three of those ATR period starts today. Good stuff with that. Uh, good stuff there. Exceeding expectations. Of course we are. We are rocking it right now. Uh, car builds, missing car parts. Of course he crashed again. Uh, 11 days though. So we have a little bit of time here. Okay, so what do we have in the on the warehouse? So we've only got one chassis. I guess we need to build two chassis. Chassis. Um, chassis. Sorry. Uh, so if chassis is already being manufactured. Okay, good. Uh, what about front wings? We've got two. Okay, front wings already being made. Good. Rear wings. We've got three. Honestly, at this point, I'm probably going to make one more just so we have a couple extra backups because we we'll are keep going through these things pretty fast. Side pods, we've got four. I think we're pretty happy with that. Underfloor, we've got four. I think we're happy with that. And suspension, probably another one. We don't have any manufacturing capacity. So once we get some manufacturing capacity, we'll do one more of those. Um, what else? Okay, so we need to do some car parts development, current projects. We've got the underfloor research going and the side pods. I have learned something uh, since the last episode. And by that, I basically just mean that I finished recording the last episode, decided to sit here and eat my dinner. And while I was eating my dinner, so, you know what? Let's look something up. So I'm not like still continuing to improve in this game, even while doing nothing. And I learned a little bit about kind of the value of different parts and which parts are suggested to be improved first and things like that. And it turns out that the underfloor is probably the most important uh, component to improve because it gives you the biggest bang for your buck for the number of hours and number of stuff that you put into it, uh, followed by the front wing and the rear wing. And then finally, the chassis side pods and suspension are kind of last placed, so to speak. So we definitely want to keep working on the underfloor research. And I think it's, I'm glad that we have been doing that, but we have not really, we have developed front wing and rear wing, but we haven't really been putting research into it this cycle. So I think we would like to research front wing and rear wing, probably depending on whichever one is uh, worst for us at the moment. So there are going to be some technical dips in these next season, which is unfortunate. Um, but let's see, which one are we worst on? We don't see, okay, where do we see the everybody? Is it everybody? Okay, here we go. Shingle rank on grid. So front wing, we are currently, um, on the things that didn't improve. So rear wing obviously is speed. Front wing is, is cornering effectively and, and brake cooling, but we're going to ignore brake cooling just temporarily. Um, which one of these are we best on? We're a little bit, we're pretty good on DRS and top speed and acceleration, stuff like that, more or less. We're pretty bad for the most part, on average, on our quartering. So I think our front wing is probably the next most important thing for us to research. Uh, even though there are going to be some technical changes next season, that's unfortunate. But I think that is what we're going to do. Now, as far as hours, we're going to probably potentially put all of our hours into the underwing, or underfloor, I mean, underwing, uh, underfloor. Um, because again, that is ultra important for us. Yeah. I think we're going to avoid putting any hours here. We're just going to put all the hours and days into the underfloor. Um, when is this one going to be done in? Uh, I think it was back here, wasn't it? I'm not there. Sorry. Um, here. Underfloor is done in 24 days, which means we're going to be halfway through this next period before we can do the underfloor research. But I still think it's worth saving it for that. If this is, in fact, if it's true that this is our biggest bang for our buck. Um, 
Yeah. I think we're going to go that route. So that means we do still want to research a front wing because it's pretty bad for us, but we're just not going to put any extra hours into it. As far as focus, and our expertise is not great right now. Um, we definitely want to improve our overall expertise. Probably, probably improve the low speed performance more than anything. Although that is the thing that's going to be the dinged the most next season. Maybe I'm maybe I'm retracting. I think we need to improve low speed the most. But since it's going to get the biggest drop next season, maybe high speed is actually better to go since we're going to lose less next season. Something like that. Now, one suggestion I did see is just to max out all these sliders. I'm still not sure if I feel like that's the right move. Um... Unless they've fixed it with the 1.8 patch, which I don't know that I've seen any evidence of that. I also saw evidence or suggestion that removing brake cooling altogether is probably a good move. Just less focus on that. So we're at 447 and 404 for research benefit. Uh, so we're going up to basically 59 and 62. Whereas if we did this on... We're a little bit higher than 62 there, a little bit lower than 59, so quite a bit lower, I guess. Um, I mean, it does seem like it's worthwhile. Now, what if we just drop cooling down, because we just don't care? That actually might work. Instead of maxing out all the sliders, what if we just drop the slider that we don't care about and actually potentially got a little bit of a good, good bang for our buck here? 374.96. What if we go to... Uh, and what if we max everything out just so I can kind of get a good understanding of how much this is making a difference? So 374.96, 390.6. I know this is really changing much over here, is it? I mean, the low speed stuff probably is changing a bit, I would imagine. Yeah, we're getting a pretty good bang for a buck there. Again, if we drop this out because we just don't need it as much, we do gain more that way as well. Honestly, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take high speed performance and then we're just going to drop out brake cooling for now. We're still getting some benefit from brake cooling, but I think we're going to focus on this because I've heard brake cooling, unless again they've changed it, it's just not quite as critical. Um, and I think something like this would benefit us the most. Yeah, I think this is good. We'll, 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 we're not going to do the gimmick of maxing out the sliders, but we are going to minimize the slider, which I think is okay. I think that's fair. Um, unless I'm just misunderstanding something here and you guys think that's still a gimmick. Let me know, I guess. But we're going to go with something like that. Uh, so this is front wing research. Continue. We're going to put, put all the engineers that we can in here. We do want that. And... Oh, wait. Cancel. Oh, this is research. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, where's my where's my slider for uh, setting it on tents? And tents. That's for the designing the part, uh, for the research itself. This is this is all we need to do. Okay, uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that. The other thing I learned, and it makes sense, and I, I kind of knew this, but I was probably going a little bit slower than I needed to, is we do want to max out the design center as soon as possible. So we're gonna want to get save up our money a bit here, uh, so that we can max this thing out. Uh, we got we did pretty good. I mean, honestly, we're at four four out of five, um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But getting that fifth part would or fifth level would get us another um, design capacity, and that would be uh, pretty big for us and some more engineers as well. So I think that's what our plan is currently. Uh, we're gonna save up our money for that. Any facilities that need some TLC right now? I don't think so. We're still okay. I'm gonna wait till they get down to the sixty percent mark as my trigger mechanism, if you will. Uh, other than that, I think we're good. Um, got all our research going. Going to focus on the underfloor and go from there. Okay, there's a rear wing. Uh, how are we looking on the warehouse now? So rear wing has four total, so we're good there. Got a backup, that's good. Uh, yeah, I get that the suspension is low stock, but we're working on it, right? Yes? No? Maybe so? I thought we were.
Are we not? I thought we were working on, on a uh, rear wing. Or ref su uh, suspension. We've got three. So maybe we're only working on one. So we need one more to just get us to a happy, happy spot. Cool. All right. I'm okay with that. There's our front wing. Can we now fix our car? Oh, we were missing the chassis. That's what we're missing. Which we're still working on. Oh, did I forget to build that? No, we're already building some, right? I My brain is all over the place today. I, I, right now. I apologize. Chassis is coming in two days, which is time. Uh, we still need to build some more after that, but this will be at least get us into the next race and we'll go from there. There's our chassis. All right, let's go to our cars. Let's just make sure you've got the best of the best. So yeah, we got that. Um, we're gonna put that on car two, good stuff. Front wing, uh, this needs to go on both, car two. So that is our good, good one for both of them. Rear wing, okay, that is the best there. Oh, sorry. Uh, side pods, the best, that's the only one we got. Underfloor is the best for both, good stuff. And finally, suspension is uh, the best and we're hopefully making one more, right? No, we will make one more. Oh, it's already in progress. Okay. I just, for some reason, it wasn't showing up. Um, okay, cool. So there we go. Um, I think that's it. We're in a good spot. Oh, we got some uh, improvements for some of our staff. In fact, quite a bit of improvements. You, honestly, if underfloor is going to be our most important thing, we're going to start focusing on underfloor. And actually, probably rear wing, front wing. Underfloor, front wing, and rear wing are pretty much the best, but we're going to focus on the underfloor for now. And we'll keep them kind of close together as well, but primarily underfloor. Hmm. Honestly, I think just making you a bit more well-rounded is probably okay. I think we got too much cooling, quite frankly. I don't know that we need that much. So we're going to go ahead and put some more into airflow management down here. Cool. Got a braiding boost for you. Nice. Uh, what about you, Mr. Race Engineer? Anything for you to do? Nope. Okay. And then... Um, journey team looks okay. Scouting team's fine. Pit crew. I've been focusing on tire changes. Just because that's the thing that we're going to be doing the most of. But the thing we're weak on is car releases. Or car release. I think we're going to start focusing on this a bit more. That's our weakest link. Uh, front rear ejects, though, to be fair, is also weak. Uh, apparently it leads to a large reduction in pit stops times. Okay, so never mind. We're going to focus on that first. And we'll come back to the others. Okay. Uh, anything else we need to do right now? I don't think so. So let's continue. There's our suspension. Now are we good? More suspension. Okay. I think we're in a good, happy spot. In case, unless we crash again and we got to make more. But until then, we've got backups for everything. To the race weekend. Can we get another good result today? Hmm. Don't know. That was just a craziness of result last time. All right, Silverstone. Let's pull that up so that we have it ready. Okay. Uh, let's go to the practice. It's going to be sunny, sunny, and cloudy. All right, parts, engine, uh, go to, doesn't really matter, I don't think. All 
Alright, suggestion is 6.0, 11.5, 9 to 1, negative 3.2, and 0.35. Looks alright. Uh, you're going to swap out for Mr. Stanek. Maybe we're wasting our time on a guy that's not super, super great, but for now, let's keep going. Um... These are basically the same. I think this one's a little bit lower, right? Yeah, 57%. I'll go with this one for now. Um, looks all right. Same thing here. 6, 11.5. Was it 9 to 1? 3.2. And 0.35? Yes. Oh, and we need to change yours to 20 laps as well. Cool. Everything else looks all right. Let's manage this first one. And they're off. I forgot to check to see where the DRS stuff is. We'll look at that in a minute. Four five, four five. All right, there's five five. Let them just run out for just a little bit longer here. Oh, we've had a spin. All right, what do we got? Car number two. <laughs> Very nice. Optimal. Great. 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 And optimal. All right, what do we got here then? A few, few things that we can tweak. Not much, but a little bit. So 5.5 here. 11.5 stays. 9 to 1. 3.35. And 0.6. All right, a few small changes. Tires will come out on softs again. Plan can stay the same. Confirm. All right, car number one. Literally the same. All right, 5.5. .5. 9 to 1, 3.35. Literally, I think it's the same changes here as well. Wow. What if they actually ended up being the exact same? I don't know if I've seen that before. <laughs> um, tires, change those, and everything else stays the same. Obviously, he's going to get his max points very, very quickly.
In fact, there's no reason to keep him out any longer than we need to once he gets his 5 of 5. So if he gets his 5 of 5 a little bit early, then we can bring him in and save us, you know, some engine wear and tear and other things like that. Assuming we get to five of five, it's starting to look a little, a little un. I'm not sure. We'll see. That's the spin. There's three on uh, Theo at least. There's Stanek. Come on, guys. Two more points. Come on. Do we not change your tires? I know I went to that page. Did I just not... Oh, did he just take some damage? Um, honestly, I'm going to kind of ignore you for a second. I don't know how I didn't change his tires. Just finish up. See if you get these last two points. Or at least get a couple points here. I, don't, I must have not changed his tires, which is unfortunate. Probably means he's about to crash again. Completely on me, but completely just uh, unintentional, obviously. I could have sworn I clicked it, but just not have clicked the actual tire. All right, all is well. Um, we'll make it. 89, 89, that's not bad. Uh, this is all okay. Uh, back up to 20, I guess, for a little bit. Actually, we might not need to take part in this practice session. Alright, so we are optimal up here. And then just grate all the way down. We did lose the straights, but we, that's that's another data point, so we'll know. So 6.5, everything else mostly the same, 305, and then finally 0.1. Okay. Um, everything else looks okay. Same thing. Are these guys literally going to end up being the exact same? Because they're getting the exact same results from this. It's just interesting. All right. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be the same tweaks. It is, in fact, the same tweaks. Wow. I don't know if I've seen this before, where it's been literally identical between the two cars. Is it because they have the same... Is it because up until now I hadn't had the same um, parts on there? I, I would assume that driver skill has something to do with it right driver preference driver skill things like that maybe i just haven't had the same parts and everything i think i forgot to put the the new front wing on car two and so maybe that's been it the whole time don't know all right uh in motorsport manager it was completely different like it was it was definitely driver preference in a lot of ways uh, i just don't know if that's the case here or not okay so we're good there do we actually want to run this or do we think they can get to 100 on their own i think they can get 100 on their own so I think we're going to send this session. If not, we can always do session three ourselves. Hey, we're not last place. 99 to 97. He's already at 15 to 15. The only thing that's keeping him from there is track uh, knowledge. So yeah, we're good. We're in a good spot. We'll be kicking off today. I and mean, we can do one more final tweak because why not? Um... Everything looks okay there. Car setup. Optimal. Uh, 
Optimal, um, great, optimal, optimal, and optimal. Literally the only thing that's changing is open this back up to there. That is it. Plan doesn't need to change, I don't think. Compounds, they'll figure that out. Everything else looks okay. All right, for car number two. Right, let me just make sure I plug this in, how they changed it while I was not there. And then we'll acknowledge that it is great. And then optimal all the way down. We don't really need this. It's more of a, because I can, <laughs> than anything at this point. We could literally go as is, and there'd be zero issue whatsoever. Wrong way. All right, looks good. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, actually, I'm going to change you guys to... No, we'll go with this. That's fine. Go to practice three, simulate the session. I expect that we'll be at 100%. If not, who cares at this point? Yep. Oh, he didn't quite get the, the track knowledge he needed. He was a couple points shy. I think it's 80%. I think it's the break point. I could be wrong. But pretty good overall. All right. So now we do need to change up parts to this engine. Uh, ERS stays the same. Gearbox. I guess we're going to keep that gearbox on there. It's fine. Uh, everything else looks okay. And then you. Obviously, new, different engine. Um, we'll do different ERS for this just because we could swap the other one back in for practices, like I said. I'm going to save this gearbox for practice now. So we're going to put this one on there. Uh, we'll go with that. We weren't in last place. Whoa. Now that he's won some points, he's suddenly racing better. It seems like, I don't know. I don't know what changed. Maybe this track is just a little bit better for our car. And so he's got a little bit of an edge on that other Aston Martin car. All right. So overall, let's check the circuit info because I did not look at the DRS zone. So we are driving clockwise. Um, so we passed the DRS zone. Well, first we passed the DRS zone here for this kind of a hairpin, whatever you call this type of curve. Um, really not much. And then you go right into another curve. But if you can get something here, you might be able to maintain it. This is, you could probably go pretty high speed around this, around 8, 9, and 10, or leading into 10. That that might be all right. And then 14, the, the detection is way back here. So if we can get something here, then we'll get the detection right away as soon as we go to this corner. And a little bit of a thing there. I don't think we get much from this one. Honestly, I don't think we get much from either of these. I don't think DRS is going to help us a lot here. Uh, but I could be wrong. Does it sell us? DRS top speed is somewhat okay, but acceleration just really doesn't make much difference here. Because, again, I think it's just because it's so short. Although you would think with top speed, you would think that would imply that it's long enough to get to that top speed, right? So, I don't know. But anyway, maybe, maybe, it's, maybe I'm looking at it and it's actually bigger than it looks, you know, right? I mean, this... Two inches on this 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 uh this track uh, map, if you will, may not be the same as two inches on a different. You know, obviously it's not. It's not going to be the same. We know that. So this could be twice as long as the one on this a similar sized one on another another track. So it's hard to tell just from looking at it. Um, I mean, I could have if I recognized the uh, the overall distance here and compared that against other tracks. Anything else I need to look at here? Safety car time. Uh, pit, pit loss is only 8 seconds. Average pit time loss is 21 seconds. If we can keep close to that. 60% chance of safety car deployment. So, kind of close to 50-50. It's a little bit more likely than not, but there's a good chance we go through this whole thing without without a single safety car. Okay. Um, all 
I was like, what does this mean? This is which which thing they're using. Okay, I see. So we're already on our third here. There's actually several people on their third. Um, we're on the third here. There's actually someone on their fourth. If it, that, whatever that you know that may or may not mean. We're the only people on our second on ERS. Oh nope, never mind. There's a Haas guy on second here. There's a lot of guys on their first engine still though, which is insane. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get into the race and. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Uh, it's only 52 laps, so that just tells that does tell us that it is longer laps, probably, um, less of them and more total. Obviously, our current tires are bad. We'll swap that here in a moment. So, best one is this first one, apparently. Really? Is that just because there's not any? We couldn't tweak this one maybe a bit. If we were to tweak this one and put this on. Something like that, something like that, and something like that. Wow, the degradation really makes up. Let's come to update and see what this... It's still faster to go with this, huh? Mediums. Well, what if we added this and go more aggressive here, here, and here? It's actually showing up as faster. So that gives us three seconds gained. What if we... Um, I guess it's a two second gain. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Huh. Okay. Alright, looks like our best strategy is to go... Orange, orange, red. Put you right... Probably right there. Something like that. Still not convinced that we couldn't. Well, let's try the softs here. Wow, really? Softs are just not better. Unless we, what if we back this up a little bit? Just really not. Why are mediums so much better on this track? Surprising. Oh, I need to put you on... Oh, there's a second. Okay. Something crazy like that might work. It's, 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 it's funny that our shortest stint will be the hards in the middle. Because we're really pushing them. But that is, that's kind of crazy. Alright, we'll go with that. Um, and then, so that puts us at a 122.01. I mean, you're basically going to want to do the same, right? I wonder if it takes into account his uh, smoothness. Kind of crazy to think that this could work. What if we started on sauce? Does not look like it would be any better. What is it about mediums that makes it so much better on this track? All right, I'm going to put you a lap later. See if that helps kind of keep things a little bit better. We'll just kind of delay both of them by like a lap. Oh, I didn't update it. No, that's right. I can fix it again. Um... I think that was about it. Uh, I could be a little off, but if I have to delay them separate from each other, that's fine. 
so similar strategies. It's about as fast as I can get out of them. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be smart or not. It's going to really wear down our, our stuff, or you know, our engines and things quite a bit. Uh, we are going to start with that, that, and that. That, that, and that. Um, anything else we wanted to check and adjust? I thought there was one more thing I was going to look at. Oh, I was going to look at this. Because it would tell us... Where is it? There we go. Man, I'm just still surprised that the softs are not... I wonder if that math is right. But we're going to go with it. I got I to gotta go with the stats that we've got in front of us because... I mean, I'm, what am I going to do? Make up my own stats? <laughs> That's not going to work, right? So we'll see what this does for us. It looks like we are pitting on the exact same cycle, but again, we can we can delay one or the other based on how it looks. British Grand Prix, let's go. It's sunny and bright. Hold on tight. It's the British Grand Prix. And it's lights out. All right, come go. on, Theo. Let's get let's get a good start here, buddy. He lost the spot already. Come here. He's gonna get it back here. Looks like he might get it back. He did. Good move there, buddy. Good move. All right, what what tires are everybody else on? Lots of mediums. Only a couple hards. Everybody else is on mediums, so. Nice work. Good to know. Alright, so this Alpha Tar guy obviously is. Got us for right now. I don't like that we took the outside there. I mean, maybe we had to, but not, not ideal. Oh, we're still on lap one, really? It is a very long lap. I'm not expecting much to change here until we get to DRS. Again, I don't know how much the DRS is going to make a difference. Um, so first DRS zone is... Um, we just passed it, right? So there's this section right here. And the next one is... Oh, you know what? I'm looking at this wrong, I think. Uh, reports. Because the, the map's flipped. So... Okay, so the first one is after this. That's right. It's after the hairpin leading up to this S curve, if you will. Uh, and then I'm sure there's a technical name for that. And the other one's on the back stretch opposite the starting line. Starting. So we have one here and we have one back here. Okay, cool. I just kind of want to get an idea of how. Oh, wow. Just completely shut down here. All right, we are getting to 100%. So we do need a. Uh, we'll still go into overtake a little bit. Try to whittle that down a little bit so we don't cap it 100%. It may partly be because of this mess that we're in right now. Alright, so here's here's the DRS zone. Um, no, we're two laps in. There's no way. Okay. That's not bad. That's actually way longer than it looks on the map, for sure. So we could definitely get, get something there. Which does mean this back one is also longer than it looks. Uh, is there an official yellow car? Or is it just virtual? I didn't. I honestly didn't see. Incident. I don't see a. I see a yellow car. I keep saying yellow car. Yellow flag. Um, safety car. 
I'm not seeing it. What is going on here? Like, the rest of the pack is leaving us. What is going on? Okay. I mean, I get that we're not allowed to pass, but when the guy just stops... That was a little weird. I think there's like a little bit of a bug with people moving over that are either damaged or things like that. And I think that might have been what happened there. So yeah, we just lost a lot of ground because of that. I would call that a bug personally. So it is a virtual safety car. Uh, I would call that a bug personally, but a new position just gained by Williams. we'll see if we can get something back here. Obviously, these guys can't pass right now. But I'm assuming they're going to be able to pass here shortly. All right, what if we go back to neutral for you for now? So virtual safety car will be ending soon. There's not much we can do. We can't get past the guy in front of us anyway, so... We really lost a lot of ground there. I mean, not that we're really competing for these guys up at the top, but it's unfortunate when something like that really delays us that much. So there's no, the racing resumed, and we're just so far behind the rest of the pack. So DRS is available. Both my drivers will have DRS coming into this back section. Gasly has pitted for new option. That's even without using overtake. All right, let me put a quick pause in this video for a second. I got, I think there's somebody at my front door and I don't think anybody is awake to go check it. So let me see who's there. All right, we're back. Just somebody who found a missing dog, thought it might be one of ours, but it is not. All my dogs are present and accounted for. Although I guess I missed my opportunity to get another free dog. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, come on guys. All right, so we're going to get another... Oh, we already passed him with the RS. So the next one will be coming up here in just a minute. I actually think we could pass this guy on this one. Um, if we really just want to. We are right on his tail coming out of this curve. I think we can get this, maybe. Wait, did we not get DRS there? Oh, we're still under... We got a sector three thing going on. Uh, does that mean no DRS? Okay, that's good. That's good. Mm, not sure. Maybe I misunderstood something there. It's okay. You're doing a good job. And there's an overtake from Williams. Somebody got a penalty there. That's no good for them. Got a long ways to go to be able to catch uh, the guy in front of us here. Two second delay is quite a bit, actually. Doesn't feel like two seconds, does it? But it is. Assuming Aston Martin, yeah, I was going to say, here it comes. He's going to pass us here. No big deal. We could have defended it a little bit, but I kind of want to conserve ERS. We'll be able to get it back here in a bit, probably. Even without ERS, I would imagine. Go, 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 go. Nice moves. This is actually a pretty high speed uh, track. There's a couple couple technical sections, but most of it just really just feels flat out. And a new position just gained by Williams. We're following our line pretty good, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just 
I mean, there's going to be some interchanging back and forth here and there, but I'm just going to let us run for a bit unless we just see something change big, big time. To where we just feel like we're losing or gaining ground other than just these back and forths. Uh, no, we're still, we're kind of coming back and forth here still. Jumped up to 12th there. Still five seconds behind uh, McLaren though. Hogger's looking okay. Someone spun out. We're really not gaining any ground on uh, McLaren right now. Uh, maybe, maybe ever so slightly. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. All right, we're neck and neck here, but we're just gonna. Did he spin out? Right, he had to spin out there. Right, there's no reason why that would have changed that much. That is huge. Big time unfortunate. Um, yeah, he did. Let's have a look. Now we see the Williams here. Oh my goodness! Big time spin out. Well, I think we can get it back. But that is that is unfortunate. He was doing pretty good. Uh, so how do we get this back? Maybe we just uh, start with harvesting a little bit. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. Um. Okay. Then we're gonna do a full-on deploy. We're gonna go up to full-on attack and see if we can get something back here. It does mean we're gonna lose a little bit on our tires, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so that's about as much as we want. Probably wanna go down. Gained a little bit. I mean, we're still pretty far behind. We're really just going to have to make it up in the pits. Our pit strategy. Um, Honestly, this far out, I think we can go attack on both of you guys. Try to work off some of this tire that we've got. Probably will pit... <sighs> Who do we want to pit first? We're back in it, though. I mean, we're only two seconds behind... Uh, Haas here. I think I want to pit you first. Leave you out one more lap. It tells me we're probably going to go back down to... Honestly, we probably need to go down to standard if we're going to leave you out an extra lap. It's not ideal, but... It's going to open your pit. Um, you're coming out on hards, correct? Yes. And this is the one where we're actually going to go crazy hard. Which is insane to think about, but we'll see what that does. It feels like such a backward strategy. Uh, we'll see if it works. Okay. I'm just gonna keep on where you're at in the pits. Once you pass it, you'll we'll queue you up again. All right, so we'll go ahead and queue you up now. All right, you're on the next tick over. Yeah, you are. So we're gonna go ahead and put you on hards. I think we can... Uh, no, I don't think we can go progressive. I think we got to keep you the way you are. That's such a long pit. That was terrible. All right, you're staying on super fast. Um, I'll keep you on neutral. We'll keep an eye on it. If you go zero, then we'll, we'll know that that's not good for us. Man, that pit was so long. What is going on with our pits? Our pits stink. Full on attack and go. I don't think we're getting below zero or down to zero. So I think we can go ahead and just high speed this. See if we can make any ground up by going super crazy aggressive here. And there's an overtake from Williams. I think Theo should be able to get past Aston Martin here shortly. Come on, go, 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 go. There we go. Good stuff. Can you stay ahead? And a new position just gained by Williams. I mean, you do have DRS on. Uh, sorry, this is H Hogger. Hogger now has DRS on uh, DRS on Theo. They're actually going to be trading back and forth here. Big thing is, can Hogger? Can the person in front 
make gains on McLaren at all. It just doesn't look like we're really making any gains. We're still between the eight and eight and a half seconds. Really pushing these tires super, super hard. What, what are other people on? Other people are also on hards, but they're not pushing them hard like I am. So not sure if it's good or bad. We'll see. We get this under eight seconds at all. We may need to come back down on the fuel. No, we're going to stay push. If we need to come down, we'll come down on this lot later on, I think. All right, we're back into the pit. What did you do? Theo, what is your problem today? Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. I don't know what Theo's problem is today. He, after such a great race last time, he's having a terrible race today. Now we see the Williams here. The fact that they're fighting each other. Oh, no, somebody else hit us from behind, didn't they? It looked like, and both of our drivers got knocked out by this, at the same time. Because I think that guy behind us hit us, didn't he? Um. All right, we're going to pit Theo again, first again. Hmm. Box, 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 box. So Theo's getting the penalty. I don't, I just feel like it wasn't his fault, but maybe I just saw it wrong. All right, we're trying to come out on some relatively fast tire compounds this time. We'll see what we can do. All right, we can go ahead and schedule your pit as well. You're going to come back out on mediums. Can we get faster than 30 seconds in the pit? I know it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but no, man, we are just... No, it's not an exaggeration. What a terrible pit stop. Is that just normal? Did I look at it wrong? I thought it, I thought it said 27 seconds again. This is a ridiculously slow pit. All right, back down to aggressive. We are going to go ahead and go on balance here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go deploy, though. See if we can get something back. Got to try to get a little bit of our fuel back. Don't feel like this is going to be a good race for us, guys. I'm sure I've made some mistakes. Uh, well, the drivers have also definitely made mistakes. If they hadn't made those mistakes, I would... That's part of the reason why I'm just kind of going through this fast, because they made mistakes. And if they hadn't made those mistakes, we would be in it, and I would be like, okay, my entire plan was just to slow it down this last stint and just really start babying them this last stint, see if we can do something. But with those mistakes, I just, I don't know if it's worth it or not. If we get back into this, if, if Theo can catch up with Aston Martin here, maybe we can do something. But until then, I'm just not... Okay, we actually needed to... I went too far. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no, sorry. Deploy. Theo's not impossibly far away. Well, not possibly far away from Hogger, but Hogger's pretty far behind the guy in front of him. Now, are these guys going to have to pit? No, they just did. So even with them just pitting, we are like really bad. These other guys came out on softs, which is awesome for them. I mean, good good job, I guess, if that works for them. It probably will. No, I think we're we're done. This is it. We're gonna be in these we're gonna be lucky to get eighteenth and nineteenth. I don't think we can get back into this. They're just on better compounds or just in a better position overall. Our multiple spin outs was just nothing we can do about it, I guess, at this point.
Alright, you should be good to go back to neutral. Uh, okay. Oh well. We had a good race last time. This just didn't work out for us. We're just not gaining any ground at all. I mean, Theo's gaining some ground a little bit. Hogger's just really not much at all. He's staying around that 5.2 seconds. Sometimes he goes below, sometimes he goes above, but more or less 5.2. Uh, there's Theo dropping back another second or so. So I was going to say, uh, Theo did something. Yeah. Lost it there, buddy. Theo just having a really bad race today. All right, it's okay. Just wasn't our race. We were able to get our fuel back. I don't know that we are. I'm surprised we weren't gaining some of the, like we I thought we would. I have to go conserve here. Actually, I'm not sure if we have enough to get to the end. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. All right, maybe we had enough to get to the end. It's hard to tell. Yeah, we did. Okay. I could have passed this guy, but I wasn't sure. And I just, it was kind of at the point where it was just. I'm not sure if there's a huge difference between 18th, 19th, and 20th. We're already kind of that far down. I mean, yeah, we, we probably should have not have given that up. I, I got a little scared about the fuel. We were fine. Um, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm looking all right. Terrible race for Theo, honestly. Search complete side pods. All right. Well, that is that for today. Not a, not a great race, but just didn't really feel like we ever had quite what we needed to, to make stuff happen. Um, up next looks like it's Red Bull Ring. So that one's looking... That looks kind of interesting. We'll see how that goes in four days, though. Uh, we still don't have quite enough money to do the facility, so we're going to wait a little bit longer for that. But... Uh, we're still in points, so we're still in eighth. And unless McLaren or Aston Martin does something crazy, that will not change. So that's a good way to finish the season, for sure. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.